WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished up 27, NASDAQ up 32, S&P's up 5.5, gold contract, gold contract up $1.50, trading at 1495 an ounce. We had silver up 14 cents, $17.56 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 69 cents, $54 flat. Notes and bonds. You had the 10 year down three ticks, 129.28. 30 year off four at 160.05. Both notes as well as bonds, folks, they rejected lower price, had tremendously lighter volume. They continue to want higher price, lower yield. King dollar. King dollar down 395 ticks, trading 97,607. If we get over, we take a look at King dollar. What you're going to see in King dollar. King dollar got back inside its lower range, came inside the lower range with conviction. Uh, that's a wide price spread. Uh, in two weeks, you know, we've come down from the 99 price point. We're at 97. That's saying it's going down to the 95, 843 area. And we'll see, you know, you keep moving down with conviction, and this could be a, just a major change inside the U.S. dollar. The reason I'm saying that is that, you know, we've been up into this area for approximately a year and a half. And if we go take a look at the British pound, you're going to see the pound as well as the euro. Bottom line, Brexit, we've ta been talking. Um, they have been down for almost three years. That being said, guess what? You, the British pound as well as the euro has gotten a huge charge. Right now, the pound's at 128. Two weeks ago, we were at 121. Pound looks like it's going to run right to 133. We take a look at the euro, same type of setup in the euro, and you got to remember something. If the euro, the euro is the largest weighting structure inside the Dow and inside the dollar index, 60%. Uh, we take a look at the zero. You're going to see the euro is down from 2010 from uh, 122, 111. I, I don't see it going to 122, but I do see it getting up into uh, 114 pretty quick. And if that's what you get, and we forget that move simultaneously, and that's what we got out here yesterday as well as today folks when you get it simultaneously that puts some heat right on the u.s dollar and of course then on the other side of that as we come into friday tomorrow the gold contract if that's what we get coming overnight you're going to see this gold contract basically break the downtrend that we've been in since the 4th of september where gold was trading at 1559 have a great night folks have a safe night we look forward to speaking to right back here tomorrow morning nine o'clock